James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Jim Marbella. With me, I've got one of the stars of the channel, Billy Joe Saunders. Something built. Look, look, he's the star of the sh channel here. Look, he gets his own face out of it. Slim Jim. Look, he looks like so, that. Pole. Look, that is him. That is him. That's him. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why? You finished the pot? Yeah. What more? You're looking a bit fat. So, look, I'm full of muscle, man. I'm full of muscle. Just feel them tits. Feel them tits. Stop it. Right. You still can do this afterwards, you know what I mean? It's a serious boxing talk now. Go on. Do you want to serious boxing talk? Serious oh, well, boxing man, you good? Talk. And brother? Not too bad. Back in action July the 24th at Wembley. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about what's going on, Bill. Uh, ask me whatever questions you want to ask me, James. I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm just um, chilling out now, waiting to do a press conference. Finish here, go and get a couple of brasses after. Go for a run later on. Just your average Monday? Yeah, you got to, wouldn't you? While I'm in the art of London, Coogan's going to treat and we're going to take him to Soho for a bit. Anything you want to add on that, Coogan? I don't know what you're talking about, I'm talking to Andy. I'll say no more. Andy, was it true that oh, no, him and Richard anything. Maynard had gay sex in the office to save the toilets? I have heard the rumour. Thank you very it was much. You told me. Thank you, see? Apparently he was watching. Oh, dear. I got it. I'm, I actually got it on video. I've heard some of your videos. You've got it on you, Lube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, Lube. It wasn't bad, that was it. He knows about you, Lube. He's been watching you, Lube, too much, I think. Your videos, speaking of what, your videos are actually quite infamous now. Your Facebook videos. Do you know what everybody's going on about? But do you know what it does me, James? Yeah? Some people's going on saying bullying. I'm not, it's not bullying. It's just, listen, if you're 28 year old, yeah, you're walking up and down on a Batman t shirt. Right, people's gonna look at you and laugh at you. Come on, they're not gonna take. I'm not taking the piss. I'm what did you have the most backlash? What video you've done? Like for those that don't probably know. the Batman video. For the Batman video. He's 27 year old and he's telling me you'd like to be Batman, and he can. You're 27, mate. Come on. Do you know what I'm saying? It's only a laugh. I've need. I wish no arm on him, but he needs to grow up a little bit. He's acting, you know. Yeah, and he hasn't got learning difficulties or nothing like that. Or dyslexia. He's a, he was a fully fledged. You know, whatever you want to call it, but he. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fortunate, I was fortunate enough to catch some of your Periscope the other day. You didn't know I was watching because I weren't registered. I was just I felt like a bit of a voyeur. Yeah. Saw the link come up. Yeah. Oh, give it a click. And I, believe it or not, it actually took me straight to you in the barbers with all uh, foam all over yeah, your yeah, face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Face. Periscope, yeah. Do you know what? I was on Periscope for a long time. I was on Periscope for a bit and um, I've just gone a little bit off at the minute because people start getting racist on there. Bad racist people. Like, well, if I'm like yourself. No, not towards myself. Like I'm, I got like I was with a coloured mate, and then I was all start giving him racial abuse. I was like, no, nah, I switched it off. Then they was giving me, calling me the pikey cunt, and all stuff like that. So I just left it off for a little bit. If you give me a stick on Periscope, I will find you, and you will get it. It's probably not joking. Probably no, not joking. Oh, seriously, not joking. I face the consequences. July the 24th. What kind of level of opponent are you going to be looking at for this fight? Because obviously you are number one ranked to fight for the uh, WBO title. So what, you know what? what's going on? What I'm looking at is, you know, someone, I was telling Coogan earlier on, um, I want to get in there with someone that's at least going to give me six to eight rounds, something like that. I'm not, I don't want to get in there and no one's going to make me work from round one to round ten. I just want a good six to eight rounds and get the job done. Get the job done. I've been out the ring for six months now, coming up seven. So I just want to get it done, out the road and on to the big one. Obviously, we've had the drama and the saga of the Chris Eubank fight too. Would you give him the rematch? Would it happen? All that now, dead, done, done out of the water? At the minute, Chris Eubank is probably in some disabled toilets now, with his dad's trousers down, sucking his bell end. He gets no rematch now. He had his chance to have a rematch, yeah, but he wouldn't vacate. See this belt here, though? This, is, this, is, this belt's worth more than what he, that belt, what he's got. Yeah, that, that, that's a Gucci belt. That's worth more than what, I don't know, whatever belt he's got. Um, so no, I think that he's, he's, his boat's gone, mate. Listen, he's going to have to go to bed every night thinking that I'll beat him and dreaming about me because you know, there's no more rematch for him. He had his chance to uh, vacate the title and fight on a big bill at Upton Park. He didn't want to do that, take any part in it, so therefore no rematch. If you had an interim belt and you was offered to fight someone who had beaten you or defend your interim belt, what, what dropped, would you have done? I would have dropped belts. I would have said to Frank Warren, if that shoe was on the other foot, Frank, listen, just get him back in the ring with me. Don't pay me, just get him in the ring with me and let's fight. Let's just get the rematch on, please. That's what I would have done. But we're different people. But now I've got a world title in September and uh, let's get it on, let's get it on and go. 
So you'll be facing Andy Lee in September for the world title? For the world title, yeah. And everything, everything's done with that, that's, that's fully agreed? No, it's not fully agreed, there's a couple of little things. Whereabouts it's going to go, I think. Um, and I've got a little bit of information just a minute ago, funny enough here. But I uh, can't say too much yet. I did say, I did hear the man say, do not say anything about the information, so don't, don't just put it out there. Well, he just did say, it. Robert did say, don't tell anyone, but I've already told someone in here already. Um, told, shared it with Daniel's here somewhere. So he knows about it, but he's the only person at the minute. How confident are you of beating Andy Lee? Very confident, extremely confident. Listen, me and Andy Lee, two travellers, you don't understand the atmosphere that's going to be in that ring. The atmosphere that's going to be in the arena, but when, when we're in that ring, in each other's like, company, it's going to be a joke. And I swear to God, it's going to be some show. That's going to be, it's going to be absolutely ramo show. It's going to be ramo. It's going to be a real, real good show. And, uh, you know, he's a, good, he's a champion, Andy Lee. You know, you've got to give it to him, but I know I can beat him. I know I can beat Andy Lee. Did you watch him fight Matt Ray Korobov or even more recently? Watched Peter him fight what, what, I watched him, your, what your I watched him fight all of them. Um, take the knockdown away Peter Quillen he lost, but give the knockdown he won. So, uh, you know, Andy Lee's a good fighter. You know, he goes everywhere, fights anybody, and that's what I like about Andy. And, uh, you know, I just hope we both get well paid and uh, get it on and... You know, the best man to win, but I know I'll be. Where would you prefer it? Would you go to Ireland to grab it? Would you I want it in mind. London? I don't what mind, goes, where's it going? He's from Limerick, let's face it, it's not going to sell. Listen, is it going to sell 20,000 in Limerick? I don't think so. Will it sell 40,000, 50,000, let's say Upton Park or something like that? Yeah, it would. I think that I'm wanted now, James, so. All right, well, listen, Bill, thank you for answering the question, honestly, mate. We'll see you after the press hour and. Uh, Cheers, give me a bit of time. Shit, Andy sucks cock as well. Bye. Bye.